Well, next week is the annual Can-Am Days Festival in Myrtle Beach as the city welcomes and attracts Canadian visitors with special events. Also this weekend, seasonal direct air service between Myrtle Beach and Toronto begins. News 13's Rusty Ray took the first flight actually out to Toronto late last night and joins us live now from downtown Toronto. Hey, Rusty. Hello. Hello to you, Bob. From a chilly Toronto, it was in the teens this morning when we first got up, but it's a pretty nice day compared to what they've been lately. It's these rough winters that bring a lot of Canadians to the Grand Strand, especially this time of year. One person who comes every year, actually more than once a year, is Kevin Han. He's worked at the Toronto Sun, a daily newspaper here in Toronto, for 25 years. Kevin first came to Myrtle Beach on a golfing trip just weeks after Hurricane Hugo in 1989, and he's come every year since. And about 10 years ago, he began driving his family down on a separate trip for a summer vacation. You know, even when the dollar, you know, the Canadian dollar is down a bit like it is now at maybe 90 cents, um, it's, still a, uh, it's still an affordable vacation to go to Myrtle Beach. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear more from Han about his favorite parts of visiting Myrtle Beach. And we'll also hear from business leaders about what attracts many Canadian businesses to the Palmetto State. Governor Haley continues her efforts to recruit other Canadian businesses here. We'll tell you some of the reasons why they love South Carolina. But for now, we're live here in Toronto. Bob, Rusty Ray, News 13. All right, thanks a lot, Rusty. For the record, it's not that much colder in Toronto than it is right now in the eastern Carolinas.